about uh, Pomodoro Tracker. Um, what is Pomodoro Tracker? Um, this is a software I've been ha I, has been creating for the past month, and um, it is heavily based on uh, the Pomodoro technique, which is uh, a working technique implemented by uh, Toshota. Uh, it consists in 25 minutes of uh, a focused work in which uh, you don't have to have any distraction and you just have to focus on uh, a premeditated task um, and achieve some premeditated result. Mm, do I have uh, remended the wheel? It may be um, there are plenty of there are plenty of uh, Pomodoro Tracker software, and one of those is uh, Pomodoro, which uh, I have been using before creating Pomodoro Tracker. Um, the point is that it it doesn't really cut the cake for me because um, for me it, it is also uh, interesting to know uh, some statistics about uh, a long about a long term um, in example if I want to know uh, how many Pomodoros uh, I been doing for some specific project in the last uh, two months. Uh, it, it is pretty pretty complicated to know with Pomodoro and other softwares. So uh, here comes here comes um, Pomodoro Tracker, which is right here. As you can see, Pomodoro Dragger um, it uh, comes in a portable version. You don't have to to install it, uh, so that's uh, pretty uh, nice for me. Um, I'm I'm going to show you um, what the main interface is about something as our self-explanatory. So I, I'm, going, I'm not going to stop there. Um, basically, um, when you want to to start a Pomodoro, you you need to have a project selected here. These are some uh, example projects. Um, when I start Pomodoro in in my machine for the first time, I uh, I will not have. Uh, any project, so I'm going. To, I'm going to add one of those with this button, and I'm going to put anything here, whatever, whatever. Okay. Um, and now I will want to to select uh, the project to which um, the Pomodoro is running for, and. Um, uh, I, I, will, I will want to start the Pomodoro. One thing before doing that, uh, there is a concept known uh, as the current working day. It is supposed that when you start your working day, you you reset um, these uh, statistics to the zero, and you do that with this button here which uh, asks for uh, confirmation and as you can see uh, the current working day is is, uh, is reset um, 
why uh, this doesn't uh, reset uh, automatically because it may be that uh, you finish your your working day at uh, 2 a.m. 3 a.m. and you've been working the whole night um, even from the past day so uh, it is kind of complicated to automatize this that is why um, you have to do it manually so on um, when you are uh, are going to need uh, to start working just uh, start the Pomodoro and uh, you can minimize it or you can let it here there is no issue and once uh, the Pomodoro reach the 25 minutes it going to it going to pop up into uh, the the screen if you have it minimized um, if you have it uh, behind some if you have it behind some uh, website it's going to to pop on top website or whatever you uh, you have on on the front of your screen um, what else um, if for some reason you had to stop the Pomodoro, example, uh, some urgent call comes uh, at your phone, or you have to to go bathroom or whatever. Important thing, you can stop it with this button. And what is this button about? As um, the tooltip say, it does synchronize the persisted data uh, of the Pomodoro tracker with um, your your uh, local uh, ROM. Um, it is not needed that you do this um, manually. Um, the application itself does it uh, every five minutes, and when uh, you do some specific action, such as uh, the start the Pomodoro, or stop the Pomodoro, you don't have to worry about. One thing this is uh, good is. Um, to synchronize with an Arduino. This is a, fe a feature that is optional. If you uh, are skillful with with Arduino, um, in in the website of uh, Pomodoro Tracker, you have uh, this link, which uh, take you here. Um, you you have some. Um, Two files, um, which are C++ code, basically, and uh, if you are skillful with with Arduino, you can um, just compile it and and upload to your Arduino. And by using an USB cable, you can connect it with a computer and while you have uh, uh, Pomodoro Tracker running and you can you can have some sweet uh, LED show and uh, there there is also uh, a, a buzzer which uh, do some nice sounds if you want to, by default, the um, the serial port configured is COM3, but you can change it by entering with control to this button, like this. I'm pressing control right now, and uh, I can put whatever serial port Arduino is, is using. 
so um, I think that we are almost done here. If you want to delete the approach, just delete. Here is the button. And um, in the bottom part of, of the interface, you have some statistics about the current project you have selected. And uh, this, this is part of the gami gamification system that I've uh, implemented into Pomodoro Tracker, which I'm going to explain right now. Basically, when you finish a Pomodoro, you get a gold coin. If uh, if you finish a consecutive Pomodoro, which is uh, a Pomodoro that you start right uh, after a break finish, if you uh, start uh, a Pomodoro in less than one minute uh, after, I said before, I, <laughs> I wanted to say after, if if you um, uh, start a, a Pomodoro less than one minute after the break is done, uh, that counts as a consecutive Pomodoro. Uh, and if you finish a consecutive Pomodoro, you will get to gold coins because you're doing, you're you're being very productive, and that's worth. Uh, to have two coins instead of one. So uh, this is the game gamification system, and um, the point here is to reward yourself with whatever thing you think think that uh, may be joyful for you. And um, you uh, start by creating some items that are porch, porch sale, and uh, you give uh, to it an item whatever uh, value you think it, it, it has, like uh, four gold coins, six gold coins. And while you while you complete uh, Pomodoros, you will get more gold coins, and with that you can uh, reward yourself from time to time with some nice uh, cappuccino, <laughs> in example or whatever you want. Uh, how does this work? If you want to to add uh, some items. This comes to totally empty. This uh, has been added, added by me. Um, if you want to add um, another item, just uh, push the plus button. And here you are going to need to point uh, to a, an image which needs to be a JPG of uh, 100 by 100 size. Once you uh, have the icon, just select it, OK. And uh, you need to add, you need to add a short description, like uh, whatever. <laughs> And uh, you can also add a long description, which um, is going to be shown as a tooltip when you put your cursor uh, over uh, the item. You can set if this is going to be available to purchase, and here you can set the, the cost of the item. If you want to edit this, just here you have the icon. And uh, if you want to purchase it, just just press the this uh, card icon. That's all. 
And uh, finally, we have we have a third tab, which is the statistics tab. This is my my preferred one since I can see my evolution in time about uh, how many work I've been doing in the past weeks by um, in in some specific projects. So above here I have a kind of chart. Um, I can filter by um, the last seven days or uh, ever. Um, as you can see. I can also have some other information such as uh, the consecutive Pomodoros, not just the completed. And uh, I can also see how many Pomodoros I interrupted in last seven day or, or ever. Above here I have the, the individual part in which I can see information about specific projects. Um, this this statistic is the stop time rate of Pomodoros, which is um, a rate about when I usually stop Pomodoros, and this can indicate some behavior in myself if I stop if I stop uh, at seven minutes it looks like uh, I don't know it looks like I, I can not be sure of doing the Pomodoro because I'm stopping it uh, very soon just a thought um we have three options here to show information we can show um the pomodoro finish it on last 12 weeks these are the weeks of the year since i'm doing <coughs> this video cast on the february of 2016 uh, this is the fifth week, fourth, and so on of 2016, and this belongs to 2015. And these are the the amount of Pomodoros finished. I do have also uh, the consecutive Pomodoro finished on the last 12 weeks and uh, the stopped one. See that uh, this this uh, information changes depending on uh, the best way in I can show the, the information. So I think this is almost all, guys. Uh, I just need to show you. Um, how you can request uh, features, new features, or how, how can you um, report bugs. And this link is also in Horbus Lab website and in the description of the video. If you, uh, you're going to need to create an account on GitHub if you want to do some, uh, some book report or feature request. Once you have uh, an account here, just um, push a new issue button and uh, yes, you fill this information and be sure to level as announcement if it is a feature request or bug if you think that that Pomodoro Tracker has some bug so I can, so I can uh, fix it and release a new version. So I think I'm not missing missing anything. And uh, yes, I'm missing one thing. Um, Pomodoro has um, can can work in the cloud, 
by uh, Dropbox. If you have Dropbox installed in your system, uh, you you um, probably will have this this icon here, which takes you to to the Dropbox folder. And um, the point is that. If you have, suppose that you work uh, at your home and you also have uh, your your office on some outside your home, and uh, you want to share the information between the Pomodoro tracker that you run on your computer of your home and the Pomodoro tracker you run on your work. Um, the thing is that if you have Dropbox installed on both machines, um, Pomodoro Tracker itself is going uh, to synchronize. Because uh, it is going to save uh, this persistent file and uh, here have here, uh, this file have all data that Bomber Tracker needs in order to um, show you shared information. In few words, uh, you're going to see the same information if you open Pomodoro Tracker in your machine, on your home, or if you open the Pomodoro Tracker in the machine of uh, your work. Okay guys, uh, if you don't have Dropbox, don't worry, because Pomodoro Tracker saves uh, the persisted data in program data in the in C. So I think that is all guys. Uh, I hope I made myself understand and uh, if you have any question you can write to my to my email which is also shown on Horus Lab website. I hope you have a nice day. Thank you.